Our attention back to the weather. Here's a live look down Independence Boulevard in East Charlotte. Not quite as toasty on this Thursday, but of course that means we're getting some potential wet weather. Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane is here keeping an eye on the conditions, and I guess we are seeing a little bit of storms that are moving in right now, Tara. Yes, up in the mountains, especially, and down through parts of South Carolina, we have more of those blossoming scattered downpours, a few strong storms moving into parts of southern York County and Chester County, but our attention mainly focused right now on the mountains and up into Avery County, where that severe thunderstorm warning continues until 445, so a little while longer, and it's because this storm, which hasn't officially really entered the county just yet, it's headed in toward Plum Tree and angles and up into those highest elevations there. So uh, possible damaging wind gusts is what we're looking at here with that storm. Of course, lots of lightning. So remember, as soon as you start to hear those rumbles in the distance, you need to bring it inside when thunder roars go indoors. More severe weather right over the Tennessee, North Carolina state line over East Tennessee. But those storms are moving to the north. So no severe weather officially over parts of Watauga and Ash County. But maybe you're hearing those rumbles in the distance. And as I mentioned, down to the south here, parts of southern York County, nothing too intense at the moment, but we do have some scattered pockets of rain and it looks like a stronger storm trying to hold together there southwest of Chester that's lifting to the north and east. Multiple severe thunderstorm warnings in effect west of Columbia, South Carolina. Those are drifting north and we will likely see as that cold front continues to inch in closer, more blossoming storms around the Charlotte Metro, foothills and east and out toward the sand hills a little bit later on this evening. Future cast showing that to us by anywhere from 6 to 8 o'clock or so, expecting more of that activity out there. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be out and about some of those after school activities or the kids games or something. And as we uh, move into the overnight, most of that, as it usually does, will fade away or move out of the region. So expecting quiet weather while you're sleeping tonight. It's a hot 92 degrees right now. Dew points are not quite as high as the past couple of days. Those feels like temperatures aren't topping out right around the triple digits in so many communities like they were yesterday. But still, obviously, it's hot out there. We're talking readings in the upper 80s to lower 90s, but we've got those cooler 60s and 70s with those storms in the mountains. Still, though, it does feel like it's close to 100 in places like Albemarle feels like 97 in Wadesboro, and it does feel like a hot 95 in the Queen City. So the storms will fizzle out tonight. Less heat starting tomorrow, but that's going to come with more scattered storms off and on right on into the weekend. So we'll stick with this unsettled pattern. And yes, we will be watching the tropics. I will have that update coming up at about 445 to 450 here as we'll hopefully get some of that new information coming in from the National Hurricane Center on what is going to be likely powerful Hurricane Lee churning about in the Atlantic and I'll show you the latest forecast track. But here closer to home front moving in what's going to happen. It will stall or slow down over the region tomorrow. So that could help to focus a few more storms likely not as many as what we could see later on today and ahead of any of that. We're still topping out in the upper 80s but just not as many 90s as the past several days here now. And Futurecast does show not as much coverage of the stormy weather coming up for tomorrow afternoon. Best chance will likely be up in the mountains, but Saturday, different story because we will have more of that instability. And again, still the front hanging out nearby. That will likely lead to more scattered storms late in the afternoon and evening. But this all comes with, as I said, not as much heat. Temperatures backing off to even a little below average there by Sunday. Lower 80s generally will be hitting the mid to upper 80s, which is closer to the average high of 85 going into the weekend and early next week. As far as the mugginess and the humidity goes, not expecting a major drop in that anytime soon, feeling generally on the humid side right on into next week. So no big uh, changes in that refreshing air coming up anytime soon here at least. Seven day forecast shows a little bit drier of conditions going into early next week with those highs in the 80s.